hey guys welcome or welcome back to sunny healing thank you so much for being here happy new year thank you for reaching out to me those who emailed me those who were asking about my health i have been very sick i have been in bed for over a month um i'll tell you all about it at some point but I am feeling better so I'm gonna try and start filming again I'm really excited I have missed you guys so much um, thank you those who have booked personal readings uh, thank you so much for your patience and I will definitely get back to you as soon as I can so I'm just trying to take it slow and get back on my feet anyways today's reading is going to be about new love so let's see what new love is coming towards you it's great to get that at uh, the beginning of 2023 um you know it, it's just fresh start so let's see i have three paths for you today so we want to see what new love is coming towards you and what kind of advice uh you need to hear about it so pile one is going to be this earring pile one pile two is going to be this earring and pile three is going to be this earring so i'll show you the piles and then i'll meet you at your pile hi pile one you guys chose this earring so let's get started with your reading so you guys have goddess of the moon number 52 and your tarot is the nine of cups the page of swords and we have judgment so who is this new love coming towards you uh, pile one okay so so what i'm getting the first thing i'm picking up here pile one is this person has been probably already watching you this is not um someone who doesn't know anything about you this is someone who is already somehow either watching you um you know if you have a social media watching you at work watching you in a coffee place a place that you guys uh, hang out or a place where you could be posting pictures or videos this person is already aware of who you are this person is already interested in who you are and it is not just physical there is an interest in who you are basically because i am picking up on this judgment card this person sees you as someone who could be um long term or who could be some kind of partner to them so it's not uh you know just if in the physical sense so yeah so this person is um um i am getting very strong virgo energy gemini energy i'm also getting uh, aries um pisces it doesn't have to be but i'm picking up those energies especially with goddess of the moon i'm getting strong pisces even cancer in this picture here this person is someone who really admires you uh, you guys could have a talent a skill you guys could have some kind of ability or um, i'm hearing it could be at work if this person is um, at your workplace this person admires what you do um, they don't have to be this is someone who knows what you're doing so it's not just the physical like i said this person is definitely attracted to you physically this person has a lot of interest in terms of the physical aspect but it's not just that this person is also um kind of has shifted their perspective from just the physical to actually seeing you as someone who is interested sorry interesting and they are interested in knowing you more this person could be um I'm hearing this person could be about your age uh, or maybe a, f a small, you know, small gap when it comes to a few years, uh, maybe a bit younger, a bit older. But this person I am sensing is definitely from the same generation. So it's not really big gap. Um, this person sees you as someone who is interesting, someone they want to know more. And there is this uh, like almost they're trying to connect with you on a more spiritual level there's a, th um, a 5d connection here with this person you guys might know who this person is some of you could have 
intuitively picked up that this person is watching you or intuitively noticed that this person is could be into you you're not sure i am sensing that whoever is actually picking up here in pile one that this person is interested you're not 100 percent sure you don't have an actual a concrete or like physical proof but you sense or you have the intuition that this person could be interested in you I'm also hearing that this person could have tattoos. This person sees you as a wish fulfillment. Um, they have a side to them that is, um, they like luxury or they like, I'm hearing luxury items for some. Um, this they, they don't have to, but there's something about them that uh, could be a little bit overindulgent on some kind of things. So maybe it is items, it could be about food, it could be about um, some kind of hobby that they really enjoy. So there is a little bit of that that I'm picking up from here, pile one. The other thing here, pile one, you might notice that this person has a lot of confidence. So the way they show up, the way they portray themselves is very confident. It doesn't have to be um, their actual feeling. This person can still be a little bit insecure inside or they could still be working on their confidence. But um, nobody will know, you know, if you just see them from the outside. This is someone who shows up as someone who's very confident. They could be even uh, someone who speaks well. They could have good public uh, skills or um, conversation skills. Um, they have uh, charisma and presence. For some, this person has long hair. This person right now is trying to make some kind of judgment call or some kind of um, trying to make up their mind on something. I do feel that this person is also s someone who is thinking right now about possibly their um, spirituality, their religion, there's something around that that is very intriguing to them or they're trying to kind of go deeper and get to learn more about what kind of spiritual beliefs they have. Or some of them are actually going through transformation when it comes to their spiritual beliefs. This is um, a call from the divine that they're receiving. They're being woken up. A lot of them are going through this at this time or going to be going through this very soon. And somehow this is going to align both of you. This person could have, again, you know, I was picking up strong mercury or really good communication skills. People listen to them. People admire what they have to say. People could be asking them for guidance, counseling, uh, mentoring. This person has skills when it comes to um, speaking. And this person also speaks the truth. They speak their mind. They're not afraid about saying what's right and what uh, needs to be said. Um, this is not for all, but this is a message I'm picking up. This could be a divorcee or this could be someone who is just coming out from a long-term connection or a long-term partnership. This is someone, um, this is not for all, uh, but yeah, for some this is the case. I'm hearing for some this person's colors, favorite colors are blue and orange. And they could like dogs. There is something about animals. They don't have to have a dog, but they have, um, they're just comfortable with animals or they could be very good with taking care of animals. You guys could be meeting at a place where you guys are drinking. It doesn't have to be alcohol. It could be coffee place or a restaurant or a pub. It could be. But a place where there could be water or you guys could be uh, either drinking, you know, water or drinking uh, drinks or in a place where there is water nearby. This person is also constantly changing. This is someone who likes to learn things, new things, new skills, likes to move forward. Um, 
even if they don't necessarily know everything, they want to try, they want to get to know new things and learn about different skills, different subjects. This person could have knowledge about different things and you, it's easy for them to impress others in that way. And I'm also hearing they're not afraid of a challenge. So they could be into chasing you. They could be into like, yeah, into chasing. They're just definitely not afraid of a challenge. Let's take a look at your advice pile one. So we have engagement ring and it says engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. And we also have keys on a ring and it says many options decision unconventional string along one night stand this is almost contradictory it's interesting how you know the engagement ring is all about commitment a union partnership with someone strong partnership and then we also have this this is talking about casual connections many options so what i'm picking up here your advice pile one um with this person, it can go both ways. This is going to be your um, your decision or your almost like your move. This is someone, like I said, for many, this person could be coming out of a long-term connection, maybe a divorce, or just someone that they've been with that could have hurt them. Um, and this is someone also with a judgment card that can have a big impact on you when it comes to your connections. This could be an important relationship in your life if you want it, if you let it be. You can also decide on having multiple options and continue uh, maybe being single because we do have, um, do we have single? No, it says one night stand, string along. So they could be that as well. It's going to be up to you whether you want something serious or you want just one this, this person could be just one of your options and just uh, basically, you know, um, have a casual connection with this person. It's going to be up to you because this person is open to, to any kind. They're really interested in you. They like you. They already have their eyes on you. So it's going to be up to you to kind of direct, especially I'm looking at this, the, this uh, page of swords always reminds me of a lack of direction, a lot of options, a lot of things in their mind, but they might be needing your advice or your um, sense of direction in order to know where they want to go with this. So be firm, be clear with your uh, intentions, actually be clear with yourself first and then once you guys get to know each other it's going to be important that you speak about what you want so if you want a partnership long-term partnership it's going to be important to speak about it and um, if you're just interested in having a casual connection it's going to be important to tell them so this person is uh, really open to different things because they really like you so i'm also hearing that things could go fast if you guys are interested in getting into a commitment, things can actually move forward faster than the usual time, let's say. But just be clear on your intention, be clear on what you want, and then make sure that you share it with that person. All right, bye everyone. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Please let me know in the comments. I love you guys so much. I'll see you later. Hi, Pile 2. You guys chose this earring. So let's take a look at new love so what new love is coming your way soon we have contract wow number six your um tarot we have the ten of wands we have the page of cups and we have the queen of pentacles beautiful pile two okay i mean <laughs> I have to say it for some of you this is an actual contract so this could be a legal marriage you could be in an engagement of some kind i mean with the queen of pentacles page of cups and contracts new love for you pile two this is of course not for everybody but definitely here for some this is someone you're going to get engaged with you're going to have something long term you could have an actual legal contract with this person it could be around the home. You guys could be buying a home, especially with the beautiful Queen of Pentacles here, buying a home together, moving in together, or, you know, getting married, depending on what you want, especially Ten of Wands. I do see you guys sharing responsibilities in the long term together. 
So this person here, pile two, is someone who is serious, someone who has built some kind of financial stability. This is someone who cares about their money, their resources. They could have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo in their chart. They don't have to. They don't have to. But they're serious when it comes to relationships and they know what they want. So this is not someone who would be called a player. But there is a side to them that is a little bit fun, exciting, especially with this beautiful page of cups. They love to, um, you know, be a little bit flirtatious. You will notice that with this person, um, they do come off as someone who could be a bit serious at first, but once uh, you guys speak to them, they could flirt with you, they could want to make you laugh. And they have also a bit of a romantic side to them here with the Page of Cups. They could have a mix of water and earth in their chart, or even Libra with this contract, yeah? This person could be working in a legal firm, they could work yeah, with lawyers, or they could have to uh, deal with um, a lot of paperwork on a regular basis. So they could be working at the government, also here in police, police officers, or uh, you know, um, law enforcement, something like that. This person has gone through a lot of stuff. They have a lot of experience in their life. This is not someone who is, I'm hearing this person could be just young at heart. They could be older than you. They have a certain type of maturity to them. They are already quite established. For some, this person has a daughter already. Um, I'm also sensing that uh, if you guys do end up getting together or getting married or living together, you guys could have a baby daughter as well, or you could think about having a daughter actually quite fast after moving in together. This person cares about investing their money, so they have um, savings. At this one, I'm picking up. So they have savings. They could have a property already. They have uh, some kind of, you know, you know, money invested or some kind of resources, financial resources that they can rely on, not just the salary. I do feel that this person has been investing or is thinking about investing. They have some savings in their account and they are um, quite stable. They're not um, uh, worried about you know the current crisis. Things are going well for them, but this person has put a lot of hard work in their youth. They have put a lot of hard work in general. Could be uh, you know long studies. They could have done a lot of work uh, hours. This is someone who has put a lot of effort in their young years to get to this point. And for many, this person actually looks younger than they are in terms of their looks. They still have kept their beautiful looks no matter how old they are. I'm also hearing this person is gonna present themselves in a very serious way to you, Pile 2. So when you guys meet, this person might be talking to you right away about what they expect in a connection, what they want. Um, they're the kind who would study you from afar before approaching you. So someone who is, again, serious about what they want. And they're going to be telling you from the beginning, this is what I'm expecting. So this is someone very fair, honest. Um, you know, there's nothing fishy or you know, having to go around or trying to decipher what they're trying to say. Very honest, very direct energy. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's going to feel, almost, I'm hearing refreshing for many of you, especially if you've dealt with people, uh, maybe put you in third party situations or in situations where you guys have had to try to decipher or just situationships in general that are unclear. This is someone very clear about what they expect in a connection and also very clear about what's their worth you know uh, what they deserve they're not going to take less than what they deserve so if you guys are not interested in the kind of connection they want you know they're willing to compromise uh, at some point they're not if it's something that is too far away from their values they will tell you they'll be very honest and they won't like they don't want to lose their time neither they want to lose your time 
So expect that kind of energy, expect that kind of uh, almost like in candid, you know, frank. And I really like this energy for your pile too. This is amazing. But again, with this Ten of Wands, for some of you, this person really works in a place. There's a lot of hard work that they need to put or long hours. So this is a challenge for some of you. Or this person has to uh, travel for work a lot of the time. You guys will have to discuss this um, in the beginning uh, and try to find like a middle way, especially if you guys are really thinking about moving in quite fast or being together in the long term. This is something that will have to be discussed. Yeah, because this person is definitely looking for a long-term partner. They want someone um, they can rely on, someone who will be there for them, a nurturing type of person, someone that they can create um, a trustworthy connection with, and uh, someone also who will be there um, in tough times, not just in the fun times. This person also sees that in you. There is a almost like a recognition they see you that way they feel that you guys are very nurturing um I'm, I'm hearing some of you here are mothers or fathers and they admire that they see that you guys have a certain stability within yourselves that you have a maturity that they really admire they haven't seen before and you guys somehow they, they feel that with you you guys could be very fertile together, not just having kids, but, you know, creating resources, creating your home, anything that you guys do together, any kind of project you work on is going to be very fertile, very uh, promising. And there is that, that feeling when you guys meet. They also love the fact that you guys are onto, um, you're working on your stuff. So some of you here are working on some kind of career. Others are just, you know, taking care of yourselves. There's something about you that is attractive here. It's, it's connected to your independence, but it's not just independence. You guys are um, connected to yourselves, pile two. You guys connect well with yourself and you're able to align with spirit and they feel that you guys are not um there's nothing superficial about you some of them will definitely be asking around about you before actually approaching you they want to approach you in a way that you're not going to reject them it's really important to them You guys could be meeting this person around spring summer let's take a look at your advice pile two okay we have separation sadness missing you thinking about you yearning unsure of future and we have cupid's arrow have faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting hesitation pile two okay so I have to say this, this is not for everybody, but if you guys are still stuck on old love that is not satisfying you or still stuck on something or thoughts uh, about someone who is not worthy of your attention, you're being called to forget about this person to try to move on uh, because this is not the right person for you or this person is not ready the way this person is. So you might be surprised as soon as you actually separate yourself from that energy. If you do still feel stuck in that energy, as soon as you do, you will manifest this person. This is not for all, of course. If it's not your case, uh, pile two, you're being called to have faith. I mean, love is coming. I really love this Cupid's arrow. I was telling you spring and uh, summer I was picking up. And I always associate Cupid's arrow with spring because fresh love, you know, um, uh, you know, airy season. Uh, it reminds me of the full energy. So you guys could be meeting around that time. You're being called to, to be open to surprise invitations. So if you are being invited, don't get stuck or don't worry about the past or don't get stuck in old patterns because not everybody's the same. If you've been disappointed in love in the past, things are moving forward and you have changed. You're not the same person. You're also piled to... if. 
um, if you've been going through a tough time at this time with love or in the past few months when it comes to your love life, if you've been going through you know, a, t a tough time, sadness, or missing someone, or, um, you know, not being sure about your future, you really are being called to have faith, you're being guided, because, you know, um, this is coming, this is coming, you know, be, be, oh, I'm hearing, be proud of what you've accomplished, be proud of what you've gone through, it was tough, or you have gone through stuff, stuff that might have been difficult, but this is only to open you up and to mature you up to this queen of pentacles level, so be proud of what you've gone through, don't feel guilty if you've gone through mistakes, or you feel that you've made mistakes in your love life in the past, or in the recent past, this was part of the lesson, this was part of you uh, growing up and maturing and getting to the level that you will align with the right love for you. So have faith. Love is coming. Please make sure that you go to surprise invitations. If there's a surprise meeting for you, be open to it. Keep your heart open to this. And yes, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Bye to you. Please let me know in the comments. I love to hear from you. I'll see you later. Hi, Pile 3. You guys chose this earring. So let's see, what is it? What's, what's your new love? We have patience, number 16. We have the king of swords, interesting. Two of wands. And the four of wands. Wow, okay, pile three. <clears throat> your new love, okay. Pile three. So, of course, the first thing you have to say, Aquarius, Libra, uh, Gemini could be one of the signs here. Um, pile 3, this person has a seriousness about them. Um, some of them might even, some people might even call them a little bit too direct or a little bit too upfront or even a little bit harsh when they speak. It is the King of Swords. This person is very intelligent. I mean, this is the first thing people pick up about them. It could be a bit cynical sometimes. Um, you know, we're not seeing the negative part of the King of Swords with these cards. It is a positive uh, message here. But this person can come off sometimes a bit harsh. This person is here. Th their mission, the way they see the world, the King of Swords, is um, they're here to transform the way people think. They're here to bring knowledge to push forward, especially Aquarius, you know, the vision, visionary, um, someone who might be a little bit harsh or might be a little bit too pushy or talk uh, a little bit too directly, but it's only to transform people's vision, the world's vision. It's only to bring um, forward new ideas and to inspire ultimately others to go higher, to try harder, to um, um, uh, kind of surpass themselves. I always look at the beautiful butterfly on top of his head here. And this is for me a symbolism of transforming people's thoughts, ideas, communication skills. So it could come off a little bit harsh sometimes. It could be a little bit difficult, but sometimes the truth is difficult to hear. Sometimes what uh, truly hurts us, not necessarily, but what truly touches us, um, need to be said even if we're not always ready to hear it. So for me, the King of Swords is that. So this person is like that. This is someone who could be a bit stern in the way they show up at first. You might not even know that they're interested, pile three. Okay, pile three. But this person is serious. This person wants right away to start planning for something stable with you. This is someone who has, once you kind of get over the the kind of initial state of meeting them and seeing them as a little bit coldish because that's how they come off uh, as soon as they fall for you this is someone who gets passionate they have passion they have uh, even there is a side to them that is romantic they have their own way of romantic um um, of being romantic, of course, it's it's not a traditional type of romanticism, but they have um, they do fall hard. So this is not someone easy to attract, to get to love you or to get to uh, be with you in the long term. But once they do, 
they do fall hard and this is someone who has um who knows how to uh, charm attract people with their words like i said this is an intellectual this is not someone who is um randomly speaking they have a lot of knowledge so they could have studied a lot they could have uh, you know read a lot of books this is someone that many people admire they could be their their own boss they could be working in a company they could have some kind of status here a very strong masculine energy definitely here pile three this is, um, I'm also here, this is someone who likes traditional values, especially with the Four of Wands and Two of Wands. This is someone who cares about traditional values and they like to do things step by step. Uh, so this is going to be someone who will want to get married, you know, ultimately. It doesn't have to be right away, but they have a sense of looking at the world in a very step by step there is a little bit of conservatism to them so they will want to follow the rules of society when it comes to their love life this is someone who also likes to travel pile three they will like to travel they will want to show you new places this is not someone who's boring okay just so you know you know like i said they might come off as someone who's cold i'm also hearing pile three for many of this person is much older so you know much mature or older so you might think oh you know things could be uh, a little bit coldish but it's not the case as soon as they open up you'll see that this person is well traveled they've seen a lot of cultures they know a lot of even a lot of languages for some of them speak more than a couple of languages and this is very um you're going to be admiring this person you guys are going to fall hard as well i do sense that both of you are going to be um Almost like planning something, an event. Yes, guys could be meeting actually at an event here. Um, engagement party, you guys could be meeting at a wedding. Um, I'm also hearing a social event at work. Something there could be happening. You guys could be starting to talk about your personal lives, if, especially if this is someone from work. It's going to be the first time you guys actually start talking about your personal life and you guys can connect in that sense. Patience, pile three. So you're going to have to be patient because this person is going to open up, but it's going to be taking a little bit of time for them to kind of be more comfortable to show their to show their true selves, especially if it's at work. This person is someone who will take time to show you uh, their feelings, their emotions. This is not someone who's easily uh, swayed by looks, for example. This person will find you attractive. They could be even very attracted to you and even passionate about you but you can easily hide it uh, behind this type of demeanor this is not someone who is easy but once you know in the long run this is someone who uh, you will respect and this is someone who will take care of you pile three this is someone who likes to be in control Many of you, I am sensing, you guys could be meeting this person at the end of the summer or in the fall season here. This is someone, again, who could show up as very cold. But this don't let this fool you if you are interested in this person. A bit of patience. I am also hearing pile three. One thing that is important to this person is conversation. So connecting through words, connecting through talking to them. Uh, I'm also here if you guys are witty, if you guys have yourselves um, good communication skills, be yourself, show this person who you are. There is definitely to this person, you know, mental stimulation is really important. This person gets attracted to people who are intelligent like them. They need to respect their partner and uh, don't be afraid to show who you are. Don't be afraid to speak up, uh, really important to them the um, verbal exchange for some this person could have a light hair like lighter hair um, light brown or even blondish or even some gray for some people salt and pepper This 
person has a lot of um, is very resilient pile three this person is really resilient they've gone through stuff but they're very strong and you're not going to know it so this person has gone through things maybe in their childhood or when maybe when they were um growing up or early adulthood they've gone through things but you wouldn't know it because they show up as someone who is put together they show up as someone who has um all their stuff together but deep down they have gone through a lot of stuff so once they open up to you they will tell you about these things you'll be surprised about this or you'll be surprised to hear um from them all the situations or the problems that they've had and they were able to overcome and you know with their way of showing up as somewhat stern even a bit cold you wouldn't know I'm hearing some of you, this person writes poetry, they might write uh, books even, write blogs. This is someone who likes writing, who expresses themselves through writing. They might write letters to you. They're a conqueror, I'm hearing. So definitely someone who either is in a, already a management position, you know, someone who has you know, some kind of established position that is either they're leading a team or they have uh, their eyes on that kind of position. They're getting promoted very soon. This is someone who has status. Uh, I'm also hearing a professor. It could be a professor. It could be someone um, someone working in um, maybe office work but definitely it could in, in any case doesn't have to be in any case this is someone who manages others who is able to um give precise decisions who is able to think on their feet someone who is able to take responsibility so they're very strong in that sense and they are either already in a position like that or they're getting promoted very soon let's take a look at your advice pile three so what do you need to know we have the golden mirror, self-absorbed, a narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. And we have not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, boundaries, and still angry. Okay, pile three. Interesting. So the first thing I'm picking up here, pile three, this person needs to earn your respect okay so this is really important to pile three if this is someone that you notice again is being cold or a bit cynical with you make sure that you have boundaries make sure that you're not uh, easily swayed by what they have to say make sure that you also have an opinion and that you share you share it or that you uh, clearly show what's right for you what's not have boundaries, personal boundaries. Don't let others walk over you. Don't let others, um, you know, treat you um, like in one-sided relationships. This is something this person is going to respect a lot about you if you stand your ground with him or her or in general. This is someone who observes you, will observe you. It's really important that you have that um, kind of strong... Um, uh, boundaries about what you expect what is okay with you and what's not and that you are able to say no when it's something that bothers you yes the other thing here pile three when you guys talk to this person do not avoid saying what is uh what you want or what you need from them or what you expect it's really important that you speak up that you speak your truth that you speak about what you want uh, don't um close up don't let this person like control everything they might want to because that's the extreme of the king of swords while it's nice at some point it can be a little bit overwhelming so it's really important that you do say that some things are okay others are not i 
I'm also hearing here pile three. Um, it's going to be important with this person, spe specifically this person, it's going to be important that you don't uh, give in too easily. Um, this person really enjoys a challenge. This person will want someone, again, who is not easy to get or who is not um, easily influenced. They really care about respecting their partner. They really care about having someone who's like one of the one of a kind because they are also different. So it's important to show that side of yourselves and it's also important not to be easily let, let's say seduced because this person is e knows how to seduce others especially with their words so if you show them that you're not just you know easily charmed by them just like everyone else you're going to pique their interest you're going to very be an intriguing type of person to them it's going to help you melt the mask of the king of swords it's going to help you put them at a vulnerable space or at a place where they're also uh, wanting to open up or wanting to kind of get to know you more almost like creating a mystery with them all right beautiful pile four sorry pile three i hope this was a good reading to you let me know in the sec in the comment section i love you guys so so much i hope to see you in my next reading I'll see you later bye